receiver or a quarterback must seem like it's pretty easy stuff. After all, the writer does have an... Motorcycle racing to a football player, such as a linebacker or a quarterback, must seem like it's pretty easy stuff. After all, the rider does have an engine to do all the work, doesn't he? However, when it comes to physical fitness and endurance, a professional motocross racer such as this rider, Mark Barnett, could teach your basic NFL football player a thing or two. Motocross racers literally have to manhandle a 200-plus pound machine over some pretty tough natural terrain. They keep this up not for 5 or 10 minutes, but for 45 minutes without stopping. This is called one moto. Then, after a 30 to 45 minute rest period, the rider goes out and races for another 45 minutes. This is one and a half hours of very strenuous activity in one afternoon. A well-publicized survey on physically demanding sports placed motocross second only to European soccer as the most physically grueling sport. Both soccer and motocross are continuous action sports. Once the green flag drops, there is no letting up on effort until 45 minutes later when the checkered flag is shown. Mark Barnett, at 20 years old, is a top professional. He is a national champion who not only wins big races, he dominates them. He is in excellent physical shape and has a mind that he totally tunes into his reason for racing, winning. His powers of concentration, even before the race starts, is enough to psych out most of his competitors. Well, it's really important to get a hole shot because there's 40 guys out there. If you don't get a good start, you have to pass every one of them in order to win. So if you get the hole shot, you can pick your own lines and you can set your own pace instead of riding everybody else's pace. You can, you can start your own pace and work up and get a big lead. And then you can slack off to the, toward the end of the race so you don't have to work as hard that way either. You can just get a good start and pull out a good, really good lead. And then you can cruise the last half of the race and it makes it a lot easier. start called a hole shot is one of the secrets of Mark's success. Mark Barnett was born in Chicago on September 16th, 1960. He lived there for 17 years before moving to his grandmother's 400 acre farm in Alabama. This farm is where Mark trains. He has his own motocross track and his own bulldozer so he can change the shape and elevation of the track. He raises his own vegetables and his own livestock. Mark has been a professional motocross racer since he was 16 when he raced for a clothing manufacturer called Motocross Fox. He realized early on that he had the talent to be a professional and decided that motocross racing was the way to go. His financial success proves that the gamble for him has paid off. A motocross racing bike bears little or no real resemblance to a street bike except that they have similar components. Barnett's bike has a single cylinder 125cc water cooled engine. The front and rear suspension has 12 inches of travel almost twice as much as a street bike. The rigors of motocross demand that a bike be specially designed to withstand the constant pounding. And as important as bike preparation is, without a good physical training program, Mark would never last the one and a half hours of racing. Well, training is very important in motocross because it's such a strenuous sport. My training program consists of uh, a lot of riding. I figured uh, the more riding I do, the more mentally tough I am for the weekend because I'm going to race. I'm not going to lift weights in the weekend, but uh, I do uh, lift weights quite a bit, like a little, a couple times a day, and I like to run, run about, uh, I'd say, 45 minutes to an hour every day after I ride all day, so I'm really loosened up when I run. Motocross race for me is just like a natural high, just like any other strong sport. When I race, I'm not constantly thinking about what I'm doing, I just do it. The riding comes natural. The only thing I think about is the race and race lines and strategy and what's happening around me. The bike and me become like one piece of machinery. When he races, Barnett and his machine are one beautifully engineered fluid structure. Well, I ride a really lot every day. I ride maybe three 45-minute motors a day I like to ride, and I feel really strong after doing that. So when I come to the race on the weekend, I'm, I'm really strong for the race. Riding in mud, i got to keep the bike wide open. If I don't, it'll slow down too much. I want to ride over the top of the mud, not through it. 
ready to get a good start but you can see where you're going and not get much but on your mother rider's wheel. Out of the thousands and thousands of kids who compete in amateur motocross all across the country, perhaps 100 become good enough to turn professional. Out of those, maybe 20 get signed by a factory team. Out of those 20, three get to be a national champion, one in each of three different classes. That shows just how tough it is to be Mark Barnett. And it's not good enough just to win one national race or championship. To really be successful and to make a good living, you have to consistently finish in the top three, week in and week out. There is no room for excuses when you're a professional, only results. When that green flag drops, the pit talk stops. As a measure of just how good Mark Barnett is, on three consecutive weekends and three national motocross races, two in California and one in Texas, Mark won all six motos, not by a slim margin, but by at least 30 seconds in each moto. And as if to add insult to injury, while his competitors finished tired and sweaty, just like they'd been put through the grinder, Mark was not even out of breath. Motocross is not that easy. It's Mark Barnett that is that good. Train, at home. train hard at home, you don't get tired to races. And I knew I did well all week, I knew I wouldn't get tired, so I just held it wide open the whole race and just pulled away, I didn't even get tired. <laughs> 